NFL sponsor Budweiser just shocked every military family in America with huge announcement they made. Unless you've been living under a rock, you probably know that the national football is knee-deep in horse manure. Their lackadaisical response to the players under their tutelage disrespecting the very country that gives those very players their extravagant lifestyle is coming back to haunt them and putting a big dent in their bottom line. Fans have stopped watching and coming as the government is working on revoking the league's subsidies and the people feeling the most heat are the league. They are the ones who allow this to go on at an event that they sponsored, and now their sponsors are getting a backlash from customers. Several companies that sponsor the NFL have shown their true colors and said they don't have a problem with the protest, but at least one company is looking to pass on the complaints, and we're glad they are. Many of the sponsors have given statements as to how their company will be responding to the protests. Yahoo Finance compiled the responses of sponsors to the protest, most of which carried the disappointing theme that they considered the actions of players to be freedom of speech. The official report from Anheuser-Busch reads, On Monday night, a spokesperson for Anheuser-Busch in Bev sent Yahoo Finance this statement, which appears to fall into the play it safe neutral category along with Under Armour and Ford. At Anheuser-Busch, we have a long heritage of supporting the institutions and values that have made America so strong. That includes our armed forces and the national anthem as well as diversity, equality, and freedom of speech. We proudly employ over 1,100 military veterans and we work every day to create an inclusive environment for all of our employees. Because only together can we achieve our dream of bringing people together for a better world. They do indeed seem to be playing and safe. However, there's a possibility that the Patriots in need of an ally might have one yet in the famous Spear Company. While the reports haven't been verified yet, another statement is circulating that conservatives hope to be true. While our only proof of this statement is from a Reddit post, there are multiple outlets touting this as the first company to back the anthem enough to add their own pressure to the NFL. Their statement reads, At Anheuser-Busch, we have a long heritage of supporting the nation's armed forces, veterans and military dependents. The national anthem is a point of pride for our company and for the 1,100 veterans we employ. We understand your concerns and will convey them to the NFL. Thank you. Anheuser-Busch. If this is true, it would be a great win for conservatives. The athletes who chose to tip their hand and show their fans and the brands that support them just how ungrateful and disrespectful they really are were no doubt just planning to have a carefree social justice warrior party, slapping one another on the back about how much trouble they've started. That plan has gone by the wayside though because while these overpaid and overappreciated football players may be able to get away with trashing hotel rooms in drunken rages, their supporters aren't about to let them get away with disrespecting the nation that our brothers and sisters have died for. According to Business Insider every other sponsor that backs the NFL has had the same freedom of expression excuse for not requiring that those who represent their companies show respect for our country. Under Armour, no stranger to Trump-related controversy, was quick to put out a statement Saturday. Under Armour, stands for the flag and by our athletes, sick, for free speech, expression and a unified America, the brand tweeted. Rival Nike's statement was more definitive, Nike supports athletes and their right to freedom of expression on issues that are of great importance to our society. Carmakers have also weighed in. Ford told Bloomberg that the company does respect individuals' rights to express their views, even if they are not ones we share. That's part of what makes America great. Hyundai said in a statement, We stand for and respect individuals' freedoms to express their First Amendment rights in any peaceful manner in which they choose. We also stand for inclusion, freedom and all that represents those values. Food and beverage companies have also made their statements. Papa John said, in America, we should respect those who have served and stand up for injustice. We need to work together to be better. Bose told Yahoo, we proudly fly the American flag. It's a symbol of our great country which protects the freedom for every person to express their views. We respect that freedom, whether we agree with those views or not.
Aman Dirshia of Freedom Daily reported on the especially disturbing lack of action on the part of Yuza. Their customers were incredibly insulted at the military support company's statements about the protests, and they let their voices be heard. After being begged all day to cut ties with the anti-American NFL and losing members at a rapid rate, Yuza completely ignored their customers throughout the day. For about 24 hours they didn't even so much as offer a public statement about why they are keeping their sponsor contract with the NFL or if they are considering cancelling. They disrespected the people who protect our country and are the very basis of their business, just like people in the NFL continue to do. Twitter user Jimmy Melton asked, at USA underscore help could you please pull your sponsorship from the disrespectful at NFL? Tired of seeing them treat our country this way which garnered a shocking response from the company the next day. Jimmy, we have no plans to end our role as the official military appreciation sponsor of the NFL, a USA representative said to Jimmy directly. They couldn't have left the insult at that and came back again with a second response to Jimmy's post which read. The NFL provides a great platform through which we can raise awareness about and appreciation for America's military and their families. Americans have risen up and taken a stand for our flag and our anthem and by extension, every man and woman who has died protecting us. We have hit them where it hurts, while letting the NFL know we won't let these spoiled athletes continue to get away with their behavior. This is of great importance for our future, and the future of our nation. It's time that the companies that we give our patronage to respect our wishes, even if they don't respect the country for themselves.